Okay, let's just sneak right in here. Oh, yeah, sorry, hair is all over the place, but that is okay. That's all right, you know? Doesn't matter. We're just, we're just chilling here. <laughs> okay, just uh, gonna quickly just fix up the hair a bit. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah. Mm, okay, we're looking good today. We're looking fresh. This is my second video I'm filming today, so I know. Got a video day coming up. Nothing in the teeth. No. Yeah, teeth are looking white and shiny. Yeah, okay. Whoa, 14 months, yo. Like, this is, man, these videos are going by quick, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, we're gonna be talking about, you know, HRT and effects and stuff. And, yeah, you guys, this is your guys' favorite video. So, I guess we just gotta get right into it, right? Action! What is up, Sam Downey clan? It is Sam Downey here with another video for you guys. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram at samdowney44. Also, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. That's youtube.com slash samdowney. I'm posting videos here all the time about like non-binary stuff, trans stuff, stuff, you know, all that kind of stuff. So make sure to, yeah, hit that subscribe button. And yeah, make sure you join the Sam Downey clan because we're all pretty chill here. I gotta admit, this is the chill trans community so you know make sure to join also make sure to join our discord discord yeah discord if you haven't already i think we have like over 300 members now so you know if you're looking to meet some like-minded fans like-minded people make sure to do that you know to the discord's pretty dope okay so today's video is gonna be pretty good you know 14 months on hrt i know these are like your guys favorite videos like where i do my monthly updates basically on hrt um, i say this in every single update but you know obviously some of the stuff might be the same from last month the updates some might be different it really depends on the person what effects you're gonna get so you know if you don't get the these kind of effects don't think that it's not working or something like obviously hrt hits everyone differently so you know just yeah literally like you know you can you can take what happens to me and like you know just yeah yeah it, it might happen to you might not okay so <laughs> yeah yeah i didn't know how to speak english there for a sec okay but let's get right into it you know what i'm saying like uh, it'll be a fun video and let's do it so first we're gonna talk about my face doing like the home alone you know what i'm saying my face has gotten like i would say a lot softer my features have gotten a lot softer I've, I've really been lucky to have a lot of like softer features happen so that's really awesome face has gotten rounder it's been a little bit more rounder the last couple of months i would say also my eyes have gotten almost like a little bit bigger and like a little more fat behind them also just thinking about i guess it's around the same lines but facial hair i still do grow facial hair a decent amount um but yeah it's it is slowed down a bit and it's not it doesn't come in as thick i would say if you're interested in facial hair growth i did do a video about facial hair growth that's coming out um so you know stay tuned for that it might actually be out by the time this is out uh, let's, let's be real like i don't even know why i said that yeah yeah it's already out um yeah so make sure to check that out if you're interested in that and also my skin has gotten a lot more clearer i would say and also i would say my body hair in general really has slowed down a lot like for example you know i shaved my legs maybe a couple of weeks ago and it's still like you know not really that much hair so i, I feel like my body hair has really uh slowed down a lot for sure okay so what is next? What's next on the Sam Downey uh, update? Oh, okay, libido. One of your guys' favorite things. Sorry, I got kind of like a runny nose today. Uh, whatever, it's a video. It's, it's a Sam Downey video, so it's real, you know what I'm saying? My libido, I would say, has came back a bit. Um, I have been kind of like, uh, you know in the mood a lot lately i would say obviously it is the same like ejaculations is very small it's literally like a drop or two and it's very clear uh it's not like a kind of milky white kind of color but yeah i would say my libido has came back a decent amount um i know for a while like i really didn't have a libido at all so it's really good that it is coming back because you know as you guys know like i like using my penis like it's chill you know what i'm saying like I, and I'm, I'm proud to say i have a penis like i'm not like one of those people that's like oh yeah like you you aren't gonna know what's in my pants like you know yeah, a penis is in my pants, just if you uh, didn't know. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, what else are we talking about? Um, also, I would say just my penis in general has become a little bit more like on the feminine side. So it looks a little bit and feels a little bit more feminine, if that really makes any sense. You know, the skin is a lot softer. It is a lot more, you have to be a lot more gentle with it. Like you can't just like, you know, stroke her like crazy or you're actually going to run into like maybe a rash or like getting infected or something, right? So you got to be a little bit more gentle with it. So that's something to know if you are with like a trans woman that is mentally transitioning and she's still, you know, she's pre-op or like not looking to get a uh, bottom surgery, you know, make sure you be a little gentle with that. 
uh, just just letting you know like you know don't be like don't be like all like hardcore like it's just like a regular like little cisgender male penis because it's not you know what i'm saying there is a lot of things that do change about it another thing as well is my testicles have kind of shrunk so my balls have gotten like a little bit like i would say they've gotten a little bit smaller and just kind of shrunk a bit but this is something that uh, some people have told me that might happen is your penis might shrink honestly i don't really believe i've had any shrinkage in my penis like it's probably about the same size erected as it was before i would say it's more like my balls have shrunk or like my testicles have shrunk right so yeah that's something to know but yeah i have heard that some people like their penis does shrink mine hasn't though so you know obviously it's different for everyone right yeah so uh my boobs are still growing um they're kind of sore actually like honestly I'm, I'm gonna be real with you i've been yeah i've been kind of like going brawless a couple of days just because my boobs have been a little bit sore i think i'm going through another like growth really so that's really good uh honestly because you know everyone likes boobs you know what i'm saying but yeah like i'd say yeah i've gotten a decent amount of growth in the last couple of months for sure i mean yeah there's more sore and i guess like my nipples have gotten a little bit more puffier even though they were pretty puffy to start off but yeah like honestly like i'm pretty surprised with my breast growth like i've really gotten a decent amount and yeah it's pretty awesome like right now i'm wearing about a 34c in like bras uh bra size obviously um I, I say i wouldn't get as much volume as maybe some cis women like i don't really feel and have like a lot of volume on the top but at the same time i do fill the cups if that makes sense right so pretty pretty dope you know what i'm saying pretty dope like I'm, I'm i'm happy with my boobs you know what i'm saying i'm happy with uh what i've grown you know <laughs> so my muscle mass has gone way down i've really noticed this in the last like month or two really um you know i'm i'm a lot weaker in general and also like i actually like will kind of get tired a lot faster so and that's okay though like honestly in the end it's one of those things that you just have to deal with but i would say yeah i'm not really able to carry as much equipment as i used to be able to and i really have to watch myself because it's one of those things where you think that you're a lot stronger than you actually are so like there has been times where i have to like yo i gotta take a break like whoa i'm almost gonna like you know i'm gonna hurt myself if i keep on going right i don't really work out that much besides like getting exercise through like you know sports or like like walking walking or running or whatever. I don't really lift weights or anything. So I feel like if I did lift weights, it would be a different story. But you know, obviously it's different for everyone, right? Uh, another thing as well is, I think I said this in the last update, but I have been sleeping a lot. I've been getting like a good, like yeah, nine, 10 hours in really, uh, trying to get that at least. So I don't know. I just kind of feel like I'm going through, you know, second puberty and I've gotten to the teenage stage where it's like, you just want to sleep all the time. So that's really good as well. But yeah, no, I just like, I don't know. I've been sleeping like a baby lately, like straight up. Um, and I've been having Having, like some cool like you know estrogen dreams uh if you if you can relate you can relate um i don't know i just find like sometimes you have these like funny dreams or whatever and like they're almost like i don't know i'm like more connected with my dreams i would say than i was before i transitioned so that's really cool but yeah i have been sleeping i would say for like yeah like nine ten hours a day let's be real sometimes even like 11 or 12 you know if i got a day off like i'm sleeping in let's just say that so emotionally i've been feeling pretty good i've also been really chill in general um i haven't gotten mad or anything thing haven't really uh been upset that much um obviously it's still way easier to cry than it was before uh, i started transitioning which is awesome because as you guys know i believe crying is great because it's kind of like a release of emotions so that's really awesome but yeah i've been like really chill and really calm lately just been kind of like working and doing videos and doing music and stuff getting back into music actually i got a new project uh, coming up soon with my one buddy we're working on some songs and stuff so that's really awesome but yeah emotionally i've been really feeling great and you know it's it's been, I don't know, it's been a great 14 months, like a lot of ups, a lot of downs, but really in the end, there's no regrets at all. Like it's really unreal the amount of progress I've gone through and it's, and I gotta admit, it's all because of you guys as well, just helping me out, like cheering me on. Cause you know, obviously as you guys know, trans people get a lot of hate online and even in person sometimes. So, you know, it's always great to have like a, you know, like a support system of fans that are really like, you know, open-minded and we all want to validate each other, which is really awesome. Obviously you guys know on my channel, I work work on creating self-validation for everyone, like building that self-validation, but obviously outside validation is always great as well. But yeah, really besides that, that's really the 14 month update. Um, I say this in all my updates, but thanks so much for tuning in to all my videos. I really do appreciate every single one of my subscribers. Like, honestly, it's unreal the amount of progress we've gotten with this channel. Almost at 3,000 subscribers. Um, you know, I'm hoping by, like, maybe not the end of this year, but the end of next year, being at, like, maybe, like, 10,000 subscribers, which would be so crazy, you know, just getting more awareness out for non-binary people and just AMAB non-binary people as well, because I feel like a lot of the times in the media, it's mostly just AFAB non-binary people, so having an AMAB non-binary person kind of 
climbing up the climbing up the rails is pretty dope, eh? So, um, yeah, no, I really do appreciate everyone that does watch my channel. If you want to support my channel even more, feel free to join me on Patreon or uh, feel free to join my channel right here. I really do appreciate every single dollar that everybody gives me. Um, you know, I am paying for my hormones out of pocket. They are kind of pricey and, you know, I do appreciate any kind of money someone can give me. But no worries at all if you don't, like, don't give me your last dollar. Like, obviously not. And only if you can afford it. Um, you know, I am looking to create free content for everyone one and my content's always going to be like my youtube channel is always going to be free so you know keep that in mind but you know i do appreciate any help for sure um i already said this but make sure to join the discord server if you haven't already if you're looking to meet some more like-minded fans like-minded people all that kind of stuff you know what i'm saying and yeah really besides that um oh yeah make sure to follow me on tiktok as well i do tiktoks all the time at sam downey 44 so if you're interested in tiktok reels that kind of stuff you know make sure to check that out really besides that make sure to follow me on instagram at sam downey 44 also also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. That's youtube.com slash Sam Downey. You know what I'm saying? Do it right now. Hit that subscribe button. Do all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Do it right now. I'll give you a second to do it. Yeah. And you hit the notification bell. Yeah. Yeah, you did. All right. Well, thanks so much, guys. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.